Hey guys, thanks for coming in for a video. I hope everyone's doing well tonight. I thought I would come in again for another jewelry show and tell, jewelry jar, mystery, jewelry, unjarring. Let me move my camera. I don't really like it like that. Um, yesterday we did a couple and then we were having some thunderstorms. So we had a little problem. But I'm hoping it's a little better today. I'm hoping the stream is better. Again, um, I don't know what happened. I got a call and things went awry. So I'm hoping I don't get any calls. <laughs> because then I aborted that one and then I started another one. And who knows what happened. But I'm going to try to go through most of the jewelry that we went through yesterday. Even though we already went through it. Because I know we didn't see some of it. And then I'll try to, to get through the rest of it. The bag has been opened. This was a big jewelry bag. And you, if you guys were here, I really want to thank you for coming back. But there were some things that were blackened out. And for some reason, my screen went black. I don't know what happened. Hey, Jude, how are you? Thank you for being here. One thing I did learn in my comments, though, is that... And it's true. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I've worked with many women that are Asian. And... We were talking about these bracelets that I keep finding. Some are small. Like here's another one. Here's a big one. But some are big. And I know that a lot of them are made small because they're not to be taken off. And I know quite a few Vietnamese girls that buy them very small. They squeeze them on their wrists and they never, ever take them off again. And you, those are usually gold. And uh, so that made a lot of sense to me. Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and list them just as really you know ornate and all of that but look how pretty they are i was in the middle of showing you this one that has sort of a crown motif to it be sure and hit the thumbs up guys as you're walking in the door i really appreciate that this is a channel that is dedicated mostly to reselling and that kind of thing reselling collecting thrifting we love to go to the goodwill and i'll take you with me and all kinds of thrift stores i live in houston so we got a lot of places to go, and I love taking you with me on ride-alongs. I'll show you thrift hauls. I'll show you uh, updates on what I'm selling and how it's selling, what prices I, I put on things. I don't just sell jewelry. I sell everything from handbags, vintage handbags, high-end designer handbags, to, you know, a musky old leather grandma bag and that sells too so that's what i do here and if you like that kind of content be sure and hit the subscribe button right there on the right and hit the bell above it so that you can be notified when i go live and you can join me in the chat or when i upload a new video all right so those were the bangles aren't those precious some hair in here and it's not mine because it's dark and um yeah, these are this this all came from this one bag and these are really really different and really pretty. And then I just saw a big one and I left everything pretty much the way I wanted it to be. <laughs> so that remember I told you I'm going to leave this bangle here, right? So we can you can know that I didn't look through anything. But guess what? I went to the living room. Hey Don, how are you? I went to the living room to try to to edit the video and give it a nice thumbnail and everything and I hear a bunch of jiggly noises and I, I'm like, no, he wouldn't have gone over there and looked through my bags. He was looking through my stuff here. I was like, you cannot touch anything. But this is what happens when you turn your people, you turn your husband or anybody on to jewelry. He's really getting into it. And he loves looking around the, the jar just to see what's in it. He's like, I'm not doing anything to it. I'm just looking at it. I was like, I told my subscribers I was not going to touch it. So you have to leave it the same. Wow. And then he just went to he got a little upset with me because I think he thought that I thought that he was going to mess it up. I didn't think that, but I really wanted y'all to know that I didn't mess with it anymore. But I did see some interesting things in there, guys, that, who was it? Somebody told me something about this little horn, right, or whatever it was. I thought it was a horn because it has uh, a little, you know, a little bale there to hang it up. It's so cool. It looks like bake like, right? Bake bake light. Is it bake light or bake light? I don't know. So somebody said it looks like a cigarette holder. So I decided to hunt, investigate, and look what I discovered, guys. I'm super excited. Hey Thrifty Heart, let me say hello to everybody really quick. Dawn is here. Ansley. 
Mike at the Crazy Card is here. He's got a channel too. And um, Darlene, I said hi to Jude and Shiny Jewels. Vanessa, thanks so much for being here. Jewelry Nurse is here. And Valerie Fisher. And uh, I think I said everybody else. Delia Aguirre is here. And Martha. Hey, Makeup Zombie, how are you? Thanks for being here, Elizabeth. Makeup Zombie is also a YouTuber here. Makes great videos on jewelry. And she has wonderful sales as well. Guess what this is, guys? Not a cigarette holder. I mean, yeah, not a, yeah, not a cigarette holder. But I was like, look, it's a little fountain pen. How amazing is that? I would have never even thought of, I, I would have never thought of doing that until someone said, look, I have ink on my thing already. Um, until somebody said that could possibly be a cigarette holder. And I was like, well, it's twisting. Maybe, maybe I could put something in there to smoke, but I don't smoke. But no, 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 no. It is a pen. Look, it's even got the little ridges. You know, sometimes these pens have uh, 14K nibs, don't they? I should look for that too. I know sometimes they do. I am so excited. I love pens. That's another thing I used to collect. Seems like Dawn and I collect a lot of the same things. Dawn, do you collect pens too? I collect ashtrays. I col okay. It says, wow. But I think it's gold filled because it does say 14K. Let me, I'm glad to, that Mike is in here so he can help me decipher this. It does say 14. It might not focus does say 14K, and then it, I think it has the name of the company right there. But it almost looks like it says something behind the 14K. See the K? And then it's got some... doesn't look like it says gold filled or GE or whatever, but it's so precious. And look, the little nib looks like it's got a little heart. So nice. Where's the top? Okay, nice, definitely a nice find. I'm sure it's Bakelite. It's actually a portable little pen, fountain pen to carry on a chain. Wow, that is a great bag. I am super, super excited. Yes, I love to use them too. You know why, Jude? Because I have horrible handwriting. And when I use an edgy pen like that, a, I don't even know what they call it, calligraphy pens, I go to Michael's and I buy all these fancy pens because they improve my handwriting. It makes it look like I don't have bad handwriting. But I am so excited about that. That was a super find. And again, I'll have to thank my subscriber who said that could be a cigarette holder and then that made, made me investigate it more. Now, I don't know if you guys got to see this. Is the stream going okay, guys? I hope it is because last night was a fiasco. Um, I would know I was talking about a bracelet and then I, the screen turned black. I don't know what happened. So it's kind of a mosaic. It does improve your cursive, absolutely. That's why I like to do that. Cause, and I'm always reading about how to improve my handwriting. And one of my students today said she wanted me to sponsor a, a club, a calligraphy club she wants to start. I thought that's a great idea because that's one thing I really want to do. Okay, see, it's kind of a little mosaic. I think this is the one you didn't get to see yesterday. It's just gold filled, I'm sure. I mean, uh, gold tone, I don't know. It doesn't have any marking, but it's not soldered or anything. But it's really pretty, and it's got a little box clasp on it. That's really nice. Oh, good. I'm so glad, Kathleen. Thank you for being here as well. And this is the... I think this is an oak leaf. I'm going to send it to Dawn if it is, because I had... Told her about another oak leaf that I thought I had, and I talked about that yesterday, but I had actually sold it so long ago that I had forgotten. But that's really pretty, and I don't think we could see that on the screen. It didn't seem to show up. Okay, so that's another thing. And, oh, really quick, guys, let me just show you what I got from Sandy because I'm excited. And Sandy has an, an auction. I don't think she's here right now. She has an auction on Friday, and look what I got from her. Isn't that precious? That is really hefty. And pretty. It came in the mail today. I don't even remember what I paid for it, but I know it was cheap. You know, she it's an auction, and she lets things go. When they go cheap, they should let them go cheap. Super, super nice. I love it. 
choker size. I had to show you that before I forget. And then she gave me a whole bunch of freebies too, but I also bought this beautiful chain. I had bought this for a heavy turquoise cross that I have. It's a nice rope, very hefty weight. I think it's about 16 inches, maybe maybe 18. It's really, really nice. I think it's Italian as well, made in Italy. And then this as well, Figaro chain. That was a nice one. And I love this, but I think it's got the wrong bail on it. I mean, the, the wrong hook. I'm going to ask her if she can fix that for me because it's really pretty. I love this chain, and I don't know what they call this chain either. And it's very hefty as well. I think it should have more of a flat. So I'm going to see if she can't find anything. Or maybe I have it here, and I can send it to her. She can just solder it all together because I think it would lie a lot prettier if it didn't have that. But I still love it. It's absolutely amazing. So pretty. Hi, Debbie. How, thank you for being here. And what else did I get from Sandy? Okay. Then I got those things. Oh, she sent me this little ring, too. Isn't that pretty? And look how perfect it fits right there on the tip. Little filigree number there. I love it. She's always so generous and sends extra goodies. Look at this beautiful cross she sent. It is so artistic looking artisan looking and look how the bail is it's on the back so it's going to look like it's just floating especially if i wear it with a really thin chain it's going to look fabulous i love it i think it's beautiful very very nice that was one cross that she sent she sent me the ring oh and i got the ring engraved remember the one she got me last time that she also threw in as a freebie and i told you i had taken it to get engraved there it is there with my initial and I got it sized because it was big. I didn't know if they could size it down that much. It's actually a three. It's a little tight, but every time I wear a pinky ring, that's why this pinky ring is right here because they tend to fall off of me. But anyway, she gave me that last time I bought some things from her auction. She's so sweet. Um, this is another little item she threw in. I think it's like a tiger eye in white. Super nice. Those were all in this little bag right here that says Thelma Gift. Is she the best? Look at this cute little thing. Amazing. Sterling with some, I think, CZs and a little like a dark sapphire or something. That is gorgeous. And another beautiful cross. I love the diamond cuts on that. And yet another pretty cross. And I like to put these on my bracelets too. I'll just put them right there by the, the spring. Put it there like a one charm. And there's a little onyx. Thank you, Sandy. If you watch this later, I just want to thank you so much for always doing such great auctions and for sending free things when you don't have to. You're just an amazing woman. Thank you. All right, let's continue with what was in this bag from yesterday. Uh, this is plastic all around. Looks like it's homemade. It looks like somebody took a button or something. And then, of course, we got that bonus hair, too. A little plastic bangle. I think we were looking at this ring. It's just a, but I do lot these up, guys. I put them in ring lots for like $10 and, you know, sh add shipping for that. But it's better than just redonating them, you know, at least you get something. Oh, and y'all did see the cameo from yesterday, right? I think everybody got to see that. I just put it on. This is a real cameo. But look how it's already worn and it is adjustable. It's one of those adjustable things on the inside. I don't want to take it off because then I'll pull that off. Valerie Fisher, thank you for being here. I have a big bowl of, of rings right now. Just a little kitty ring. Nothing major there. Another little kitty ring or charm. That in the recycle bin. Let's see if we can skip around to the better stuff. Oh, here's some nice earrings. They have some pearls and some rhinestones, and they look intact. Metal. They are metal. Hey, Fashion Reclaim, how are you? I like that. They're pretty. Those might do well. Oh, here is a brooch that I could not make out the, the mark, even with a loop. But sometimes the camera's even better than the loop. Can you guys make that out? Sharp, sharp. I don't know why I think it says sharp or something, but it's pretty. 
It's well made. It's a rose, but it's like a flattened rose. It's not 3D. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting brooch. That's there, too. Here's a sterling earring. I hope it has a match because it's pretty. Looks like a garnet there. So I'll put that in the onesie. Where are my onesie earrings? Here they are. Let me put this over here so I can see it. Hi, Samantha. Thanks for being here. And, oh, look at this. I thought it was a watch. It's all stretched out, though, but that is so cute. Well, it's not. It's too stretchy for me. And I think you saw this one from yesterday, the digital one that said Japan. Not digital, but um, I actually think it might be a wind-up. It has to be, yeah. That is cool. You know, I thought the, the ring watches came out like in the 80s or 90s, but this is probably from the 60s. I don't even remember those. That's funny. All right. What else is over here? Another ring, kind of a little homemade thingy here. Wire bead. Some more earrings. Here's a little rose earring. And some broken pearls. Put that in the bead lot over there. Here's a big ring. Interesting. Stones are still there too. Black, that's going in. Oh, this is stretched, too. That kind of fools me sometimes. I never can tell right off. Here's some gold hoops. These are pretty. I think they have to be clean. It doesn't match it, so save that for later. Here's a little chandelier earring. Guys, it looks like 60 people tuned in. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, though. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. I think you'll enjoy the content, mostly about reselling and jewelry. Okay, here's a scarf clip, and it says Specialty House. Do any of you guys still sell scarf clips? I don't list them, but I get them. Not that much, though, but I'm just curious if you do, because I seem to get them. Once in a while, my daughters actually like these. Last time I had a whole jar full, and they took all the ones that had this little tail on it. And they're they're not young. They're in their 20s and 30s, and she's like, oh, I like these. I like to pair them. So I should probably start lotting them up. Here's another earring with, hi, Patty Feb. How are you? Junk lady, thank you so much for being here. And Sandy, I'm glad you're here. I just showed the beautiful jewelry that I received today from your auction and your gifts that was so nice of you thank you so much here are some interesting beads they they feel like some kind of a stone they're kind of heavy black not too close okay yeah maybe even some hematite in there oh there they come apart oh it's got a barrel clasp there it is okay and this is a pretty earring but it looks like it's broken. So that'll be a crafter lot. Hey, Bambi, how are you? And Angie Ford is here. Okay, so we didn't have any thunderstorms today, guys. I'm so happy about that. But we have been getting a daily shower. Here's just a plain earring. Here's a nice brooch. Really pretty. Kind of a wheat, maybe. What do you call that little bunch little wear on it, but it's pretty. I need to stop lotting brooches, too. They're really overwhelming me right now. Okay, and I told you about this one yesterday. We found the pair to this one. It's really nice, too, but it does not have a mark on it. And it had that uh, Rivoli, I think it's called, Rivoli bead there. And then it's even shaped like a little flower. So that was really nice. That was a nice find. And I did have the, oh my goodness, I may sneeze. So you're going to have to excuse me if I do. Uh, this is what? A piece of a bracelet or something. Yeah, it looks like a broken piece here. Crafter lot. And um, more broken stuff. Little earrings. Let me try to skip those. Oh, I showed you this bracelet with the rocks too. I called them rocks. More of these little Asian 
And somebody gave me the correct terminology for these little hanging things. I forgot what they're called, but I will look back on my comments and look for that. Some bangles. Here's another set, a lot of bangles over here. These are actually pretty. They look nice together. I don't think any of them are silver, but they are pretty. I'm wearing the ring, Sandy. I love that ring you sent. It's so beautiful. It has butterflies, I believe. Gold and silver tone colors. I don't know if it's sterling. I didn't even check. I just put it on. I thought it was so pretty. Thank you. All right, so we got bangles, bangles, bangles. Another vintage watch. This one. Sometimes these are gold too, guys. Last time I found that Bulova that was 14. Uh, and then I have even found someone, I don't know where, told, showed in a hall or something that even the stretch band can be gold. So don't dismiss those. This is marked back here. I don't know what it says. So let's, let's read it together. It's got a number. Let me find my loop. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? So much stuff here. Okay, let me look and see what it says. It says gold fill. And it's upside down. Bulova 10 karat rolled gold plate. And then it's got the little number. That is so pretty, though. And I don't see, it may have some diamond chips there. Do you see those little sparkles? They're probably little diamond chips. That's what they look like to me. So that's pretty nice. Those do sell on eBay, too. I'm holding on to my, my white gold bulova, though. I kind of like it. Here's a little onk charm. Okay. Hey, Babsy, I'm so glad you're here. I do, too, and I have a really nice one that I found in a $20 bag, jewelry bag, that turned out to be genuine gold and with little chips on it. This is a cute earring, guys. Look at that. It's like a little crystal ball or something. Screw back. That's pretty. That is really heavy, though. I don't know how that would stay on. More crafting stuff. Here's another little clip on but it looks like the little piece fell look like it may have had a dangle there did you say rolled gold i did uh, i did say rolled gold that's what it said on the boulevard and you had to buy those at jewelers didn't you the vintage watches those were expensive when I bought one in the 70s. Do they make Bulova anymore? I'm not sure if they do or not. I haven't been watch shopping in forever. Last time I wanted to buy a watch, I, I think it was a tag, tag wear I wanted to buy. And, of course, a Rolex I dream about, but that ain't going to happen anytime soon. All right. So I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, here's a nice chandelier earring. Black. Here's a little pearl earring, I mean, not uh, ring, and it's just gold tone. But it's going to go in the ring lot. Here is a busted piece. Somebody really got all their craft stuff and just donated it. It's a piece of a necklace. Okay. Here's a pretty little, looks like a jade bead or something. I'm not sure if it's genuine or not. Excuse that ink on my hands. I don't, let me look at this jump ring, see if we see anything on that. I see some discoloration and no soldering. That's not a good sign. So, nope, just a little jade bead. Could still be genuine jade though, because I've seen jewelry from mid-century that definitely will have genuine jade, genuine pearls and still be, what do you call it? gold tone this one's missing a, no it's not it's a little pearl colored oh i thought it was missing there in the center that's kind of pretty it's a nice ring and it is not adjustable it's very small fits me though there it is there that's nice so that must be like a five and a half five 
a nice fashion piece. That would be a nice one to put in the in the lot so we can have a nice one, right? Okay, this is a school district pin. I think it's, what, 10 years? What is it? These are usually gold-filled. Sometimes they're real gold. We'll see. Service Award for HISD, and it looks like it has a little green emerald, but I doubt it. These school districts don't have much money there. I don't know. Maybe back in the day they used to spend money on awards. I don't know. It says 10K, one-tenth SJ on top, so it's just gold-filled. But it's still nice, and someone may have lost their theirs and might want another one. You never know. Here's a pretty pearl. Earring, little twist, different. All right, here's some, what is this? More service awards? Look at this. Those, I can't even read that, but it looks like a bunch of awards. Let's see what it says. I've heard they are collectible as well. Okay, this one says Congress of Parents. Parents of what? Parents and Teachers. PTA, 19, 1897. Hmm. 1897 National, National Congress of PTAs. Hmm. That's interesting. Could sell that with the little service award. I need to put together another little baggie full of those kinds of things. This is a pretty earring clip. That would be a nice one to pair up. I hope it shows up. Here's a little modern thing. And another bingle. Just gold tone. Guys, if you're interested in, in winning a lot of bangles, let me know, because I don't even know what to do with so many bangles. And some of them are quite cute. Okay, this is cute. What does it say? Galveston. Oh, look at that. This is vintage. See a Rama. This is super vintage. They don't even have this anymore. They used to have all of these um, water parks. Not parks, but, you know, the sea life stuff, like... Um, well, now they're closing down the SeaWorld, right? Well, this was kind of a competition, too, even before SeaWorld began here in Texas. This is cool. And it says Galveston, and it's got the little dolphin running, jumping through the, the hoop there. Wow. That's kind of interesting. That may sell. A lot of times, these kinds of things sell. I have been floored when I hear about people that sell things from Astral World because Astral World was a park here in Houston. That was very popular, was here, what, about 40 years? And I know some girls that were in one of our groups, one of our Facebook groups, and they sold a, literally it was a yearbook, like a high school yearbook for $100 because it was from Astroworld. And she said that she looked at comps and there was a bunch of people that collect that kind of stuff. So that may be something to, to list. Okay, here's another broken piece of something. And just a bunch of little stud earrings that I'm just going to put aside. Here's a little ring. It's adjustable, but it's pretty. It's got a flower on it. Put that with a lot of rings. Here's an earring. Kind of cute. And a piece of a watch. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Let me just start to get, get the interesting stuff. Oh, here's an elephant that's kind of cool. Gold tone pendant. Here's a pretty brooch. No mark. No missing rhinestones, though. So I'm going to put that in a brooch lot. I need to start putting some little, not a, a whole bunch, but about 10 of them or so. Might garner some interest. This looks like sterling. Yes, it is. It's a little sterling box chain. That's nice. It's always good to get one of those. Again, this was a, a $35 uh, but I got it for about twenty, for about twenty dollars with my discount. So that was not bad at all. It's it's been really with the cameo and that fountain pen and now some sterling. Yeah, it's been really good so far, and we're not even finished. Oh, here's a nice little statement piece. I like this. This is fun. Is that an earring stuck in there? That one? No, it's not. <laughs> and that's what I liked about it. That little leopard print there that's pretty that kind of stuff is still selling for me on poshmark i've been selling jewelry on poshmark quite a bit but i've been selling it on ebay too oh this is pretty 
This is a little crystal earring. And look, it's just held there kind of like an ice pick or something. And that's heavy. That's definitely crystal. Very pretty. This almost looks like sterling too, but I'm not sure. But it's still pretty. Oh my goodness, that is pretty. I thought it was a, a pendant. So if we don't find the other one, it'll make a wonderful pendant. That's a nice necklace there. I think we did have the match to this hoop. And uh, this is a little tangle. No, no. Is it busted? Yep. A busted necklace. Don't know if we're going to repair any of the, what do you call it, gunmetal colored stuff. But I don't want my husband to spend too much time repairing things that really aren't worth it, you know. Oh, this is a pretty earring. Kind of a antique gold finish with some marcasite looking stuff. Isn't that pretty? I like it. All right. Now, uh, crafty. A crafty piece. I don't know. I don't care for it, so it'll probably be in the, my crafter lot there. Should probably redonate that because I can't really think of anything we would make out of that. But you never know. Okay, here's a bracelet. Yeah, it's finished, but it's really small. And they put two jump rings on it. It's interesting, though. They are, are they glass? They, these are plastic. Yeah, they're all plastic with some faux pearls. That's really nice, though. I have to list that one. Oh, look, here's a little man's accessory. That might be gold, too. Let's check it out. It, um, you never know. I have found some gold cufflinks at a charity shop. And they were 12 karat gold, which was quite interesting. It was an abacus. Sold those for over a hundred dollars. Hmm. I don't see any mark. Well, yes, I do. Hold on, but it doesn't have numbers. See inside there? I want, don't want to keep you out. <laughs> I have to unscrew this thing or pull it. And in there, it says something. Let's see what it is. Again, gold filled, 120 something. It's got that fraction, but it's nice. I just haven't had time to list all those men's accessories that I have too. Pieces of jewelry here. A nice cameo. This reminds me of the ones that were my mother's that I lost because I wore them in second grade, and hers were jade and cameo. And she still has that one <laughs> roaming around in her jewelry box, and she likes to remind me every so often about how I took them out of her jewelry box and wore them to school and lost one. I tell you, ever since I was little, love that jewelry. Okay, this is some kind of broken piece. We did find this one, which is nice, because these vintage earrings are selling for me. They really are. I don't know about the little screw backs. Do you guys have, or what do they call wine backs? I don't know. I say screw back. I don't know about how well these do for me. I've sold a few, but mostly the clip-ons are the ones that are selling. Let me know if you sell any of those screwbacks. Here's a pearl like this one. These will sell. They really, really do. Another big earring here. And look, here's that cabochon. Remember we found that bracelet last night? No, it was a choker, and it was missing one of the cabochons. Well, there's an earring to match it, too. So that'll be nice to get all that fixed up. I had that in there too. This is just a little modern rhinestone piece. And I think we ran into this piece before. It was just a broken piece of enamel bangle there. Oh, this is nice. I used to wear jewelry like this. I forgot what it was called. If anybody remembers what they call all these beads, I know some of them were hishi. This is not hishi though, but this is nice. I remember I had a necklace like this. This is a bracelet. It could be hishi, though. I don't know. And then it's got some, some kind of blue stone there. That is really nice. I like that. That's pretty. Okay. You do sell screwbacks? Fashion reclaim? Good. Good. Hey, Carmen. I'm so glad you're here. 
All right. I think I said hello to Bambi and everyone else. If I missed you, don't get upset. I'm just trying to show the jewelry, too. This, I believe, is just gold tone, but I'm going to double check. Sometimes I'll say it's gold tone and then it's sterling, but usually when it has this little ridging in the inside like that, it's pretty much gold tone. Yeah, but it's going to go in the ring lot. That's nice. I like this color combination, even though they're all twisted. This is a pretty earring. It's got orange and pink and blue. And if I find the mate, I'm going to list those. Another earring. Okay, let's move on to some bigger stuff in here. I know I saw another ring. Oh, here's a big one. Is it stretch? Yeah, that's interesting how they do the stretch with just one. That's that's kind of cool. And green. Kind of a gunmetal color. Going in the ring lot. More earrings. Another. This is not stretched, though, and it's kind of pretty. They are glass beads. Here is a little yin-yang ring. I don't know if that's the yin or the yang there. Here's another ring. Fashion ring still has the tag. Again, it'll that'll go in the ring lot. Just a big chunky orange ring. Here's the match to the pearl earring. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to take that one out since it's right at the top. And we can list those because those are the ones that are selling. Oh, and we did get this. But look, this is the, the pendant. Remember, we just found... The earring, this is a nice kind of a cushion cut there. That is a very pretty pendant. I hope we find the earring. That way we'll have a set. We've got the pendant and one earring, but I'm going to put the pendant in there with the onesies. Thrifty Heart, how are you? And Valerie Fisher, I think I said hello to you. I'm glad you're here. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It looks like 80 people are watching. That's amazing. I think that's my record. I'm really thrilled. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you being here. Hit that little thumb and turn it blue for me, okay? That way we can get more interest on in the channel and uh, we can grow the channel a bit. This is a nice earring. I like this a lot. Kind of plum and lavender colors. My daughter loves these style. She cannot see the ones I have because she takes them. Okay, here's a tangle of chains, but they're pretty. Here's a, here's like a close in a butterfly. This is cute. This is really pretty, and it's two sided. Oh my goodness! Which chain does it belong to? It's got two chains. In. That is so strange. There's going two chains going through it. Okay, no, I think it was just kind of stuck on this one, but this is a nice chain too. It looks vintage. And it is marked. Let's see what it says there. It says 12 karat 120. So this is gold filled which is really nice. I like gold fill because I like the color it takes on. It really takes on a charming color. And I don't know if this goes to it. It probably does. This is pretty because it looks prettier with this chain than with that big chain it was running that was running through it. That's a pretty, pretty close in A. And I think it's true close in A. It looks like it has the gold in between there. This is a very nice enameling job on it, too. It almost looks iridescent. Can you guys see that? That is nice work. That's pretty. I'll have to send that to my girl, Vanessa. She collects butterflies. She likes butterflies. I'm going to put that aside for you, Vanessa. Okay. Let me untangle some of this stuff. Oh, that's a big knot. Forget it. But we'll look at it anyway. It's a cage, and it's got a piece of maybe jade in there. What do you think? That's so cute. 
Maybe it's just a bean. I don't know, but it looks like jade and it's cute. I like things in cages like that. And yeah, there is a big tangulation here, so we're not going to spend too much time on it because the stream can go bad any minute. You just never know with my internet. It has to be in a good mood. And here's a pretty chain in here too, though. This this one right here. I think it's just gold tone, but it's kind of cool. And this is this one's Mark II, I think. Probably just says Korea on it, but I'm going to check. No, it says IPS 1220. So another gold field in that rope right there. And a big tangled. Okay, I'm going to take that to my husband to untangle. That's pretty much all chains. We did have a match to this earring, and that's pretty. I don't know if that what kind of stone that is, but it is a stone. It's really pretty. Kind of an aqua color with some black specks. Put that in there. Here's a nice chain. This looks like a Monet or something. Let's read that. This is a Sarah Coventry. This is really nice to have a Sarah Coventry chain because sometimes you get those Sarah Coventry pendants and you don't have the chains and you want to, you know, sew it together. Nice length, too. And it's still very nice and gold color. Okay, here's a piece of nothing. Broken chain. This was another bangle. And there was a lot of tangles here, too. Oh, here's the earring. Good. So there's a nice pair. This one, the purple one, it's in there. And then this one was attached to it. And I like these even better. Those are pretty. Little flowers with kind of a smoky topaz color in there. That's really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. What is this? Oh, a peacock. Wow, this is a nice bracelet. Somebody's going to love this. This is a statement piece. What? No, I tingled it up with the other one. How did I do that? Here it goes. Wow, this is cool. And it's got a toggle. And it's got a huge toggle. Hammered rings there. Gosh, I got to do my nails. They look horrible. That's cool. That is really different. It's got some wear and everything, but that is really different. It's a circle, but it's a peacock just wound up in his feathers there. That's kind of cool. Samantha Jenkins, did I say hello to you? I'm glad you're here. Any broken gold field, do not put in a craft lot. It's much better to sell it for scrap on eBay. Really? Thanks for letting me know that, Mike. That's Mike over there. The crazy card. He's got a lot of information on jewelry. I would have never thought of selling it as a scrap. I'm going to do that because I have a lot of gold filled stuff. I really do. And especially things like these service pins that we just showed, wherever they are. Okay, here's a button or something, crafter lot. A mustache earring. These were popular a couple of years ago, weren't they? Here's another cute ring that's going to go in the ring lot. This is going to be a nice ring lot. I'm going to list that on eBay soon. About 10 rings. Okay. Because they're really statement rings. Very nice. This is a pretty earring, too. It's interesting. This is more red. Kind of a fiery red. And then there's like a lipstick red up at the top. Kind of cool. Hey, Swamp, how are you? I'm glad you're here. That's a very nice rhinestone, too. If I don't find the match, that's... Oh, here's a cross. That's definitely going into the crafter lot. Let me see if this doesn't have a mark on it. Very interesting, but no bail on it or anything. No, it's probably just a, a piece, but I'll probably test it because it's a nice color. Anyway, never know. Here's a cute heart earring. Nice hoop as well. And what is this? Pieces of nothing. Nice earrings. Nope, broken earring, craft lot. Another broken necklace or not? Yeah, it's missing something there, so crafter lot. But these are nice beads too, so this will probably go on my bead lot. Let me throw that back. 
there. Whoa, sorry about that, guys. That was loud. Didn't mean to do that. This one's broken. I think I found the other one that was broken. So I'm not sure. I think I'll put in the craft lot. Yeah, that was pretty loud. Sorry about that, guys. Here's, wow, what is this? Okay, this is what was on those earrings. And somebody put it on a bracelet as well. So I think I'm going to put that aside, maybe sell it together. More earrings, bangles, lots of bangles. Here's a match to that earring I like, though. But it looks like it's on a bigger hoop now. Maybe it's a different one. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is a different earring. This is gold. Here's a big hoop stuck in there. This is just gold tone. Totally different. And more earrings. These are interesting. Sometimes these are worth money, too. I forgot um, some of these hippie, what I call hippie bracelets. They're made with mother of pearl. They're made with turquoise. They're made with real uh, pearls and real turquoise. And this is interesting, too. I don't know what kind of a stone that could be. It's yellow. And I think it's supposed to be twisted. I don't know. But I'm going to put that aside and list it. Here's a nice little pendant. Looks like a little angel skin color. It's got a mark, too. Let's see what that says. Hi, Jill. Thank you for being here. Looks like 43 people have put the thumbs up. I'm so glad you did that. Please, everyone else who hasn't, go over there and hit that thumb and turn it blue for me. This one is marked as well with another 20, 120, whatever. I think this is another gold filled piece. So Micah, your crazy card just told us to put all that gold filled stuff into a lot and sell it on eBay for scrap instead of just putting it in a crafter lot. Earrings that don't match, but they looked alike. More earrings. Lots of these big dangly earrings are in this lot. Boy, this, this bag just threw up everywhere. Another bangle. Another watch. This is a big one. Big, heavy pink watch. And it's still... The, the buckle is nice. The band is not bad. If I can get that to work, sell that. Here's a pretty earring. This looks like it wants to look like Kendra Scott. I don't see a mark on it, so it's probably not. And I think I did have this match. This was one of the very first things I opened. This earring here. Oh, this is pretty. Another peacock. Somebody liked peacocks. That's a nice pendant. I like that. That's really pretty. I know some people do like peacocks. I've heard it talked about in the chats. Okay, here's a turquoise looking thing. It looks like fake it's missing some too it's a ring and here's the match to this earring here or did it, it might be the same one sometimes I pick up the same thing another piece of something this one did have a match we saw that earlier and I like this another earring kind of gold color kind of amber color with a gold tone Another watch. This is a pretty watch. Nice face. This, let me see what it says. It says Rome and country. Quar it's a Seiko. Not bad then. Yeah, it's a Seiko. It's actually pretty nice band, but it does have wear, quite a bit of wear. Might fix it anyway. We'll see. Sometimes it's not worth it. Oh, here's a pretty brooch. A tiny little pear. That's cute. No mark on it, but very cute. I can't believe there's no mark on it. It's very well made. Very nice. So again, that's going to go into some 
brooch lots. I need to start selling some brooch lots. Uh, this is the one that was broken, and this is broken too. One was missing a little. Oh my gosh, this is actually sticky. This is actually sticky like somebody dropped their soda in it. And those are pretty, <laughs> those are pretty beads. They're glass. They really are. I'm going to have to put that over here and wash it. Put it in my bead lot. That was interesting. Okay, another one of these little dangle earring things. And here's another piece of the bracelet. And here's a pretty earring. Very nice filigree on that. Is it broken? No, you know what? I think it was a pendant or a piece of something because it looks like it should have something dangling there too. Kind of a tiger eye blue there. Yeah, that was really gross. Hi, Carla. I'm glad you're here. I didn't see you pop in, but I see everybody saying hello. I'm glad you're here. That's pretty. I'm almost tempted to, th to think it could be silver, but because that's some really nice filigree work there. But we'll put it aside. Here's a ring. Looks like silver tone. And a pretty earring. Oh, look at that. This is one of those. Is that the Millifori or the... I don't know if they call these the Millifori or the... Because this is really more like a little mosaic. I can feel it. The Millifori is supposed to be glass, right? Encased in glass. That's a beautiful earring. It looks like the, the bracelet that we showed earlier. Oops, I'm going off the camera. Sorry about that. That is super pretty. And it's gold clip-on, which is rare too. These, it's rare to see small clip-ons. They're usually these huge things. So that's pretty cool. Sorry about the zoom in and out. Sometimes I forget it's so close and then other times you can't see okay this is another piece of nothing and an earring a pretty earring with some nice rhinestones in there here's a little floating heart earring I think it's just gold tone Junkie earring lost its color already. Jesus is the heart of the season. That's a pretty little pin from 1994. Christmas. Here's a little gold tone ring. A little rhinestone. It's a nice stackable. That in the ring lot. Okay, let me move this jar out of the way and see if there's anything under here. Lots of these earrings were matched up. This one, you know, I can use in that little thing that was missing a piece. Remember we found this the other day? And I said I wanted to say, send it to, I think it's part of it. <laughs> and it came from the other jar. And I said I wanted to send it to zombie because it had a makeup zombie because, look, that's it. That is so crazy. Why does the Goodwill do that? Because it has a skull. And look. That's got to be the one that goes there. So that is cool. From a completely different jar, we find a piece. But that's why I feel like I have to take them all. Do you guys do that too? You see three, you take three. I do. <laughs> Usually. I mean, I did leave one behind last time. Here's a piece of something broken. I did leave one behind last time, but that's because it was really, really small. It was smaller than this, and it was still $25. And I just... I only saw beads. This is a big statement ring. And it's copper. That's nice. I like when it's a copper base like that. It's made better. And it's not missing the rhinestones. I don't think I'll wear it, but I will definitely list it. Because it's huge on me, first of all. But it's really nice. A little bypass. Yeah, that's a statement ring, all right. Okay, here's another... Is this, oh, I was hoping this was a ring. It's an earring. It's pretty, though. And we got a match. That's always nice. That's really nice when that happens. I think we had a match to that, too, but they're not that interesting. Here's a watch. What is this? How could this be a watch? Is this like something you carry with you? And I don't even know what it says in there. 
Something with an A. If you guys can read that, let me know, because I can't. I guess it's a pocket, basically a pocket watch, kind of like this, those pop watch swatches that were out a few years ago. Here's a yucky little barrette. Throw that out. And the redonate. Here's a it's kind of earring. Lots of pieces of earrings here. I'm not even going to show you those. But this is a nice stone here, the yellow one. Here's a little... Wow, this is tiny. This this is vintage too, though. Look at that face. There is no way... Well, maybe. Somebody really small could wear that. But look at that. Yeah, I guess you still could wear it. Women in the mid-century were a lot thinner, weren't they? Thinner, smaller, I don't know. What'd they eat? Let's see what it says. It's another boulevard, y'all. Wow. This actually looks like one of... This is so cute. This looks like one of the hands has disappeared. I don't know what happened to the hand, but I only see one hand. Can y'all see that? Wow. I would have never thought... I actually thought this was a kid's toy. That is so interesting. And these could easily, I think, I have to consult with Mike there. Do you think that people may buy these anyway just for parts? I would think so. I would think someone would want like the little dial. Like I'm missing the dial on this one watch that my uncle gave me. I think I've talked to you guys about my uncle who's not an eBayer, but he was definitely a reseller. And he was a hoarder and a collector. And he gave me a really beautiful watch. I wore it for a lot of years, and um, it's a wind-up. I forgot who made it, Elgin or someone. Really pretty. And um, the little dial thing popped right off of it, and we haven't been able to find one that fit. This one we picked up, we showed you yesterday. It's actually in Spanish. It says Domingo, and it's the Benres. That's a really nice watch, though. It's a nice, heavy watch. I like it, and it's, uh, it's, the, it's from the same one. Water resistant to 100 feet. Okay, let's keep going. See what's in here. Another cute earring. That's already one dingle. There's a big tangle stuff in here, guys. Remember Spix Fix watches? I don't. I don't remember those. I remember swatches. I don't remember the Spix Fix. Okay, here's a big tangle, guys. That's a pretty earring. And I think the one we found a minute ago did not have the dangles. Unless this dangle is from another chain. But this is a big, big mess. So, I don't think you guys want to sit here for another hour while I untangle this. But, oh look, this is cute. A little enamel sunshine there. That's really cute. That's a cute pendant. Here's a little... I guess a care no, is that a unicorn? Yeah, a little unicorn bag, <laughs> as Anita says. And um, this looks like it. Yeah, here's one of those mother of pearl hippie things. And this one has rhinestones in it. What is the deal with that? Hey, Jennifer. And here's the match to one of those earrings. I will definitely entangle all of this. And put those earrings in an earring lot and see what kind of other stuff pops out of here. Oh, here's the match to the other one that I did like that had the orangey colors. So that's good. We do have the match to that. That will hook. That will come out. That's just hooked on there. I like this one. This one was nice. So we do have the match to those. These are pretty. I like the flowers. Oh, it's missing one of the little orange stones now. Hmm. Bummer. Okay, craft lot. I'm not going to hunt for that tiny little stone. And I like these big hooks. Here, These look like real pearls here, little button pearls on some kind of a bracelet with some turquoise. That's pretty. And I don't like these earrings that much, but if we have a match, we'll see. No, they're not bad. I just don't like those wires. They bug me. Put that there. I did have this one. So that's good. And oh, here's like a liquid silver with beading, but it's gold. I think this is vintage too, probably from the 70s, but it looks like it's just gold tone. But it's pretty. I like these. 
antique watch repair to have them fixed. Yes, that's what I have to do. Because I hate that I don't that I don't wear that watch anymore. It's a man's watch. It's really thin. It's got a very thin face. And I just love it. And it's, you know, one of the many things that my uncle gave me. I've sold some of the things he gave me on Etsy. Some vintage lighters and Dick Tracy watch and all kinds of stuff. He knew I did the same thing that he did. We both used to sell at flea markets before eBay. And um, but that's one of the things that I, I want to hold on to. And it's a nice earring. And that one's okay. If we find that one, we did have the match to that one as well. Um, there's so much in here, guys. Here's a, I have seen this before. I think this is brass. I've seen some that say we and other things. They're kind of vintage charms, I guess. Look like coins. Interesting chains in here, too. Oh, here's another... Here's another butterfly, another cloisonne butterfly. I have to pull that one out too. And of course, there's a bonus here and there. But that's pretty. But I like the other one better, the one that I told you I was going to send to Vanessa if we pull it. These don't. Oh, see, I'm not going to pull too much on them. I think. Oh, here's a K. I should get my big, huge magnet and just run it through and see if anything doesn't stick. <laughs> That's what the pawn shops do, guys. When I took my stuff a few months ago, I took some things to sell, and that's what he did. He, You know, a lot of people laugh about the magnet, but that's the first step. Hey, here's the cage, another one. Maybe this one belongs to the earring. And that's the first thing the pawn broker did. He had a huge magnet, kind of like the one that Elizabeth has at Makeup Zombie. And he just ran over everything like this. <laughs> and whatever it is, well, nothing stuck. I mean, I knew it was all gold, so... But they do do that just to eliminate some steps. Here's a nice little bangle set. I got my bangles in the mail today. Remember I told you I uh, it was my James Avery day because I found the bracelet and then I had ordered some that were a very good price on Macari. Well, these are them and these are retired. And like I said, I had three. Did I have three? Yeah, I had three. I had two silver and one 14 carat. And these are James Avery retired, so I'm still trying to get a 14 karat one. If anybody ever sees one, let me know. They are uh, ast astronomical. I mean, ridiculously priced, but uh, I'm willing to go a little high, but I don't know. Anyway, but I did find two on Macari for the price of what they originally sold for, and they they garner a lot more. They, she probably could have asked 100 a piece for even the sterling ones or a little bit more, but Anyway, he I got them Tuesday, guys, and they got here today. Talk about fast shipping. That guy wants to get paid, and I just love them. And these are actually fashioned, if anybody is interested, and even if you're not, I'm going to let you know that these are fashioned to look like the crown of thorns of Christ. So that's kind of the, the backstory of James Avery. Everything has a religious theme. Not everything, but mostly that is the base of his business is a religious theme or symbols and so forth. So this is the symbol of the crown of thorns and it kind of looked like they're twisted and I just love it. And I always wanted to have more, but they retired it so soon that I couldn't even buy any more. And then they had so many outrageously priced ones, I couldn't replace them. And I'm telling you, I think I saw 114 carat where originally I think I paid about 300 maybe four at the most for that 14 carat. You'll see them now on eBay. People are asking a thousand, two thousand. They're crazy. They're crazy. But I'm telling you, they probably get it because people do want to add to their collection. I would never go that high, but I'm telling you that's how far they go. Okay, we did have the match to that. Uh we've been on here a while, so I'm gonna just run through these real quick and then we'll we'll say good night. I don't know what these are. Lots of hippie lots here, but I am gonna get my husband to untangle all of this and this is a cute little charm. This is a bracelet too. There's the toggle. That's a nice bracelet. And I like the I like the uh, closure on it. It's got little dangles. It's got a, a toggle. Look at the pretty little clasp. It's like a little leaf. I like that a lot. That's pretty. And I think these are glass. And some are plastic. The Well, the metal is not metal. It's, it looks like plastic. But the aqua ones are definitely glass. That's pretty. That's a nice bracelet. Lots of untangling to do, guys. He's going to be busy tomorrow when he gets back from work. And we did have that. Another bracelet. 
we saw this tangulation. I think that is it. If anything else pops up, I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, here's a cute little piece of something. Yeah, lots of crafter stuff in here for sure. But I think I lucked out with the pen, the sterling, um, lots of good stuff. I think it was a great bag for $20. I really want to thank you for being here. I hope you took the time to subscribe today and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I go live. And please be sure and hit the thumbs up before you leave, guys. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.